Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lysip uh, something, or, or Lear Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps twenty minutes before ten o'clock. Then about ten minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. Oh. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at ten minutes past ten. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my God. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Just be careful with the plants during your inspection. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can, but there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until twenty minutes to eleven, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. You say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear.
When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking, and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiment on the ventilation system. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. The power is on. The engine cannot be started whilst the transmission is active. The engine has started. The ventilation system is working. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. We can see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room from this window. Before I activate the fan, I need to check if the interior of the Colonial Collection Room can be seen from here. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room. Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo! Now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out, by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see 
when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it! I'll send the lads around to arrest him. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. to him but too bad he's up against the best detective in the whole world inspector i came here as quickly as i could martin hamish is in the large glass house there's no need to hurry martin hamish mr Ho 